Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden and 2K packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable Madden and 2K coins on the market. And of course, do not forget to use code FURDY for 5% off. A link for their website is at the top of the description. What's going on guys? Today we are looking at the brand new Combine Anthony Richardson. Okay, so here is our first look at Anthony Richardson in a Madden game. And he looks uh, pretty good. He's definitely going to be better than Bryce Young's card. He does get Hot Route Master Pass Lead, Scrambler Archetype with 96 speed, 97 acceleration, decent accuracy stats. That throw under pressure could end up being a problem and you honestly might have to run fearless on this card because that being under 90 is a little bit of a concern it, it definitely is i won't lie but if we head down here he's got a 95 juke move he's got a 92 break tackle 85 carrying decent good cod and kind of a low truck and a low stiff arm but yeah for the abilities he's a scrambler archetype and he does get two player specific ability slots with the pass lead and free evasive unfortunately he doesn't get like fast break in any of these slots and even on a scrambler quarterback, fast break is still just 3 AP, which makes literally no sense, but it is what it is. And you're going to see, yeah, you could run fearless here for one AP, but I need hot route master for my offense. So if you don't need hot route master, you, I would definitely recommend going fearless. He has the slinger three release, so he doesn't need gunslinger, but it definitely doesn't hurt. But I feel like if you don't need hot route, then I would definitely go with fearless because that throw under pressure is simply too low. And of course you do need that pass lead elite. So gonna be a pretty solid quarterback option of course all 32 team chems let's hop into practice mode and then let's hop into game number one okay now we have our literal first look at anthony richardson in madden and they made him really beefy i mean this card is thick man like with, like no pause i mean i guess pause but like he's he's like he's got some meat on, on those bones man you know what i mean he definitely does so you're gonna see slinger three is one of the better releases in the game even without gunslinger it's debatably one of the not the best. I think Slinger 1 is definitely better without Gunslinger, but you could definitely use Slinger 3 without Gunslinger because of how good that deep release is. Like, having that kind of range with that kind of speed without Gunslinger is insane. So, a good release. The stats are decent with decent abilities and, of course, 96 speed. It could be very interesting to kind of see if you see a lot of this card in Mutt. I mean, he's definitely going to be able to win you some games, I think for sure. And real quick, I have to remind you to hit that subscribe button. We are currently on the long road to 50,000 subscribers. So if you are new to the channel, of course, any support is appreciated. We post daily Madden 23 content. We live stream right here on this channel. Really just your one-stop shop for all of your Madden 23 content. Regardless, I do appreciate you watching today's gameplay. And let's get right back to the video. All right, here we go. Game number one, we're taking on part-time dad. I don't know how, <laughs> I guess that name makes sense. But of course, we have to utilize Anthony Richardson's legs a little bit. Um, of course, this card has its red flags, but hopefully we don't see any of those today. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. But even if we don't get any kind of crazy throw under pressure animations or miss passes, just know it will be a problem. And this guy is running, he's running spinner or DB fire. So this should be interesting. Um, up the middle here. And we actually had the right read and we do get a broken tackle right there. This card should break a good amount of tackles. I got a little too aggressive there, to be honest with you. I definitely did. So let's go to a pass. Oh, that is, that is not even DB fire. It might be still DB fire. Let's go. Let's try levels. Um, unfortunately, it's going to be a lot of quick stuff today. If this guy's going to be man blitzing us or just blitzing us in general, it's going to be a lot of a lot of snappy passes. But with Slinger 3, that's a pretty good to have. However, if someone's blitzing, hopefully if he has like an under pressure or something, we're screwed. And you're starting to see a lot more edge threat elites. They just dropped edge threat elite for 1 AP on Nolan Smith. So, um, yeah. Oh, that's going to be tough. There you go. Up the middle. And we're gone with Julio. But the fact that we're getting a bunch more, you know, cheap edge threat elites or under pressure abilities you might need to <laughs> hopefully you know fear, like fearless you might have to run it if you don't need hot route master if you want to run this card man it, it really might be a problem oh i should have done a fake field goal we actually had it oh we should have went fake field goal that's on me that's on me okay so we are playing the standard madden 23 player tight and uh tight and blitzing which okay makes sense we're gonna come out here over 3-3 cub and we gotta try to uh get a stop here man but hopefully, you know, he'll stop running that blitz on offense. We can kind of get the ball downfield a little bit more. Hopefully, where's my slot corner at? It's actually going to have to be like this more, but whatever. Oh, it goes outside. Nolan Smith actually won't be able to play on that. Nolan Smith again, 98 speed on a theme team, 99 acceleration on a theme team. All right, again, what we want is him in the hard flat. Put him here, him here. Okay. Should be a setup pretty well. Goes to a run, which could be tough. We're there, though. Okay. Look at the run D going crazy, man. Look at us go. Again, switch it over. Go. Hard flat. There, there, there. Okay. Did I get that off in time? Nothing to the flats. 
We're underneath everything outside of Sauce's ball. And we get a stop. Go ahead and sit down. He does have Richard Sherman, though. So we could definitely maybe take a shot. He's on Sherman. What is he doing out there? I wonder. Richardson steps on it. A little shiftiness. And again, 232 is a pretty big body. You know what I mean? Like, he's going to fall forward. Also, his build, like I said, like, he looks like a linebacker, literally. Dude looks like a legitimate linebacker out there. <laughs> uh yeah man and why is everyone running this like running that defense against me i feel like out of the blue people just started running that running that defense the cover two man linebacker blitz i don't know why i just started i just noticed i've been seeing it a lot recently so uh here we go we still have hot route master of course which i love to have um you of course could switch over to you know just cheap, cheap apprentices or whatever but uh to me i still need that hot route man because I, I use my running back on hot routes and my tight end a lot i mean gronk gets it for one ap i think chris johnson gets it for free Low key, I mean, I'm not running Anthony Richardson, but like maybe on Dion, if I want to run fast break, I can maybe make that change. I don't know. But when I think about it, I think Gronk gets tight end for one, right? And then Chris Johnson gets it for free. So maybe I should, maybe I should look into that. Maybe I should. Here we go, a little motion slant. And we'd love to get Gronk open here. Gronk's gonna get open. Anthony Richardson does get it out. Under pressure, doesn't matter. Swerve it inside. Gronk with a nice game. Okay, Anthony. I mean, we kind of had a lot. We had a lot of our yardage came from that one play, as you guys know. But still, man, you see under pressure. There's there's a corner. There's Hardgrave in his face, and he puts the ball around the money, even though he doesn't even hit the throw under pressure threshold, which is <laughs> again scary. It's scary. But just know if you come across one edge threat elite or one or one under pressure ability with Richardson, it's gonna look like this man's never played football in his life, which is unfortunate. But touchdown for Richardson. But that's just how the game plays and. Uh, yeah, we're putting on a clinic with this card right now, man. Like, quarterbacks that have speed and get hot route master and have good releases, that's my cup of tea this year, you know? The hard flats are open, maybe? We're hoping for. Should be. Oh, never mind. Oh, cut it inside. Go, Chris. Touch. Okay, not touchdown, but two points good. Okay. Okay, who would I rather? Anthony Richardson. And, of course, the abilities aren't even up yet on Mutt.gg, but we know what he has. Um, so let's compare him to some other quarterbacks. I don't think he really stacks up against any of these guys. Obviously, Mahomes, Brady... RG3, Sandcastle, I'm going to go Aaron Rodgers, I'm going to go Joe Burrow, I'm going to go Cole Pepper. I think he's going to end up being like a mid, like a mid A tier quarterback. I think he's like in that Geno range, um, probably slightly like a slightly worse Hurts. I'd put him somewhere in there, um, but yeah, I think I would take him over Geno. I would take him over this Mahomes card. I would probably go Russ here. I would definitely go Russ. I'm, obviously, I'm going to go Anthony Richardson. I'll go Richardson there too. Uh, that one's tougher that one's de definitely tougher if you play more from the pocket matt ryan's a good option but if you're more of a runner than richardson definitely richardson i'm gonna go with this one's close but i'm gonna go with lamar just because of the stats and they throw under pressure things like that the stats aren't like perfect on anthony richardson um so those are kind of my thoughts on the card um yeah let's get uh definitely better than bryce young but yeah let's get back to the gameplay and I will be live today on YouTube right here using all of the different Dion variations, using the quarterback, the tight end, and the running back. So if you want to come through, I'll be live today whenever I finish recording all these videos. I got to record either your teams today too. So we have a lot of more videos to record, but I'll be live. Oh, I left Gronk wide open. That was my fault. My bad. My bad. Sandcastle, my bad, dude. That was That's not Gronk. That's Gary Zimmerman. Yeah, no, that would have got caged. I took Dion out of the play, though. Obviously, it's better to run it to the other way, but let's see what kind of read we get on the edge guy. Um, Hike, he's chopping his feet up the middle run. But also, you have, you have like three reads on that play. You either have Gronk in the flat, you have the read option. There's a good chance this guy just has the read on conservative, so we're never going to get the right read here with Anthony. But yeah, I think he definitely does. Up the middle, first down. And we should have that open over the middle. And Anthony Richardson, again, proving the haters wrong, proving his stats wrong. Um, the read, again, it should be to Richardson, but I'm hoping we have enough speed to kind of get away from that. That's what I'm hoping for here. So let's see. Oh, he's the user, so that's beautiful. Up the middle. Again, no fast break, but still the blocking was really good on that play. Four for 30 and a touchdown for Richardson. And DB fire and just tight is crazy. You see it every day. You see it too much. Pitch that thing out, Anthony. Oh, boy. Awful animation. That should have been a lot better. He's not even playing hard flats, really. He's playing off coverage, which is insane. Oh, he was ready for it, though. Okay, no one got blocked. All right, no one got blocked there. Was he just... That's gonna be the move, I believe. Hopefully we are hopefully we can nail this. He yeah, doesn't blitz that guy off the edge. We should have Julio wide open. Anthony Richardson throws, throws around the money. Cut back, we eat a hit stick. But Richardson, I believe, is still perfect on the day right now. Carmichael, when he does, we're gonna swing it out real quick. There we go. And another great gain for CJ2K. Continuing 
to just be um, amazing. That's what CJ2K has been for me. The dude plays like a power back for some reason. Oh, never mind. That's not going to be open. We should have Gronk unless he's got a KO. Toes and bounds for the touchdown. I'm going to head out of this game and uh, I will see you boys in the next video, the next gameplay, which will probably be a tier list here on the main channel.